It takes a special kind of person to work for a nonprofit. The hours are long and the figure on the paycheck usually isn't. Still, the rewards can easily outweigh the sacrifices. As I found out recently when I sat down with Michelle Trent at JJ's Wine, Spirits and Cigars. Yet that wasn't the only surprising fact I discovered about the Compass Center's executive director in this week's Across the Table. Here's a hint. Porky Pig is her biggest fan. Thank you so much, Michelle, for joining me here today at JJ's. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm enjoying a new cocktail that they have on their menu called Tucker's Extended Vacation. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I'm just having Moscato. Moscato, well, cheers. Cheers. To having you here today. Yeah. Mm. That is very tasty. Yeah, it looks lovely. Now, Michelle, you are the executive director for the Compass Center. Mm -hmm. So just tell me a little bit more about how you got involved and you've worked there for quite a while. Yeah, so I started at the Compass Center actually as an intern. Um, I was interning there for um, my counseling master's degree and fell in love with the agency and the work that we do. And they can't get rid of me now. I've been there ever since, um, about nine years, and just keep moving into different roles and um, all, though, to support the victims that we serve um, and to, to do the work that we do. And you've had a lot of experience working with different organizations. You've been at the Compass Center, though, for quite some time, mm -hmm. but you've known that you wanted to be involved with nonprofit organizations. Why is that? How did you know that's what you wanted to do? Yeah, I've always been called to help, and so I always knew that um, doing work for a purpose is something that's very important to me, and, and being able to see the impact the work has on individuals is something that has always resonated with me and makes me feel accomplished when I come home at night, and so um, that's why I continue to show up every day. Is that something that was instilled in you when you were growing up? Were you involved in a lot of things? Yeah, I, you know, my family has definitely been um, servants in a variety of capacities, serving others and, and taking care of others, and so that's certainly where I get it from is my family and, and the people around me. I'm sure a lot of people listening right now too are probably inspired and they're like, well, how can I get involved and give back? And you have a big event coming up and you're calling it the laziest race, right? Yeah. So it's going to be easy for people to attend, so tell me about it. Yeah, so it's the Compass Center Point 5K. We call it South Dakota's laziest race. And our um, really, uh, the messaging of it is anybody can do it, everybody can do it, and that's the point. Not only the Point 5K, but also stopping violence in our community. So sometimes people think, you know, I have to work at an organization or I have to give thousands of dollars in order to make an impact on violence. And the Point 5K really is about, you don't have to do that. You you can show up and have a really great time and make a real difference in the lives of victims and in violence in our community. So everybody can do it and that's the point. And this is one of the Compass Center's biggest events yes. to raise money to be able to support your mission. Correct, yeah. So we have two main events um, in the year, one in the spring and one in the summer and those, is, those are the things that um, sustain us throughout the, the entire year. Let's learn a little bit more about you now yeah. too. So when it comes to being involved and an executive director at the Compass Center, being in South Dakota now, is this something mm -hmm. that you ever imagined you'd be doing? I know that you were in Minnesota. Yeah. So, you know, I have grown up in South Dakota and, and, and love South Dakota. I think um, the people here keep us here and, and there's such kindness here. and. You know, I think that really translates to the philanthropy that exists in our community, that people are willing to give and give their time and, and money and resources, and that's just been such an impactful thing. I've talked with colleagues across the country, and that's not the case everywhere. And so I'm so blessed to be in, in a community that, um, and a state that embraces giving. And so that's, I think, what really has kept me in the state. And, and yeah, I just love being a South Dakotan. And, born and bred and so that's that's where I'm always going to return to. Now outside of work and giving back and I'm sure you do lots of volunteering in your free time too but what are your hobbies? What do you like to do for fun? Well I love to do things with our family. We have two dogs and so we like to go out and do things. We are avid board game lovers and so we play a lot of board games. What's your favorite board game? Um, I really like Wingspan. It's my Okay I've never heard of that. So it's a good one. Up. You'll have to play it. Um, and then um, I love to read. I will read anything that has words in it and um, would read all day long if they'd let me. Do you like to travel? We do, yeah. Um, you know, a fair amount when I can get away from work and, and pull myself away from that work. But yes, we do love to travel as well. What motivates you to 
get up every day and do something that, you know, it does take a lot of energy mm-hmm. to be constantly giving back to people mm-hmm. and doing things like that. So what motivates you to do that every day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always tell people, you know, we work in a really hard industry, but at the same time, it's such an honor and a privilege because people invite you into the worst moments of their lives and you get to experience those pieces with them, but you also get to see strength and resiliency and courage and compassion in ways that most people don't get to see. And so those things are the things that keep me back. When I get to see that person we're working with be triumphant in whatever it is that they're going to achieve or when they are able to do something that they didn't think that they would be able to, those are the moments that stay in my mind. And so on a hard day, those are the things I draw from to say, this is why we do what we do. Do you have a hero or a specific person that you really look up to? Yeah, well, I'd say, um, you know, there's a lot of people, but in the Sioux Falls community, I I very much admire Anne Rick McFarland. I think um, her servant leadership and her compassion for the community is something that um, resonates with me, and, and she's the one I always think of when I'm making decisions of what would Anne do and, and try to emulate that. Do you have a go-to karaoke song? Ooh, a go-to karaoke song. Um, probably Living on a Prayer is the song that came to mind. That's I don't a good know why. one. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that one. It really gets the crowd going, too. Yeah, it really does. What is one thing that people in Kellyanne don't know about you? So like a fun fact or just something that whenever people find out, they're like, no way. Yeah. Um, well, I really don't like bacon, which people apparently think Me is neither. really weird. Ugh, I've I never known like another either. bacon I mean, I'll either. eat it. But. Yeah, I don't eat it. I can't, I can't cook it in my house. I can't stand the smell of it. I don't eat it. I don't like it. But I like other pork, so it's quite odd, but I really, really don't like bacon. Maybe it's like the crispiness of it Maybe. or something. I don't know. It's just not good. Yeah, because everyone is obsessed with bacon. I know. Well, people are going to revolt now. Cheers, because <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that we agree on that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me here today and letting us get to know a little bit more about you. Yeah, thanks for having me. At JJ's, they like to say they provide an enhanced adult beverage experience, and we think that's just perfect to sum up the great food and drinks and the great people you'll run into at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more about their specials and events by checking out their website at jjswine.com. JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars is pleased to be hosting its second annual Wagon Wheel, a celebration of whiskey and wine. The event featuring a concert by country music's John Party is being held at the WH Lion Fairgrounds on Friday, July 8th. You can purchase tickets for JJ's Wine and Whiskey Experience online at etix.com. That's E-T-I-X dot com. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. Locally owned since 1998, a true mom and pop shop.